Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and welcome to today's learning session about industrial controls. We're going to focus our attention today about direct and indirect control type in the context of pneumatic circuits. So we've seen previously how a pneumatic circuit is made up of pressure supply and then the air service unit, on-off valve, and then the DCV valve which is uh, used to activate or actuate the cylinder, the single acting cylinder. However, we haven't mentioned in the last class that there are two types of uh, valves that could be utilized. The first is called direct and the second, is one, the second one is called indirect. And what do we mean by direct? Direct means the valve that the operator pushes or activates or, you know, uh, activates is directly connected to the actuating cylinder. So the, the operator here is pushing the, the, the push button pressing the push button of the valve and the valve is directly connected to the actuating cylinder. However, in the case of indirect control, the operator, which is located here, is pressing the push button and the valve that the operator is activating is not connected to the main actuating cylinder. It is not activate, uh, connected. It is connected to another valve which in turn is going to activate or actuate the main cylinder. So this is where it is called indirect. So the operator is indirectly actuating the cylinder since we have this intermediate switching. Okay, so we are done with the definition of indirect. As for the advantage of indirect, yes, indirect control is the, the mainstream in the industry for many reasons. The first reason is due to the, uh, the ability of indirect control to produce complex circuits. Okay. So, uh, having an indirect control system, we can produce complex logics, complex circuits. Secondly, the, the usage of indirect control provi provides a, a simpler implementation of uh, uh, pneumatic circuits. Uh, this is due to the reason that operators only deal with low pressure supply whereas the actuator deals with high pressure supply okay so actuators at many times deal with high pressure supply whereas operators do not need to deal with high pressure they only need to deal with low pressure supply because the operator is going to send signals whereas the actuator requires high pressure to produce actuation. So having an indirect control system we are going to split between the signal side and the actuation side. So for actuation we are going to use high pressure and for signal we are going to use low pressure and the details of which are only possible in another advanced course for the time being this is just a basic idea of you know uh, uh, implementation of direct and indirect control pneumatic circuit I hope that this short lesson is, uh, is, is good enough to, to present the picture to the learner and we're going to go to another session of having uh, simulation software 
and seeing the the circuit in action so until then all the best and see you again